Alright everyone, it's Pikachu 89 and welcome back to the crew 2. Um, in this session we're going to be going through the new life summit that just came out for the blazing update. I forgot the name of the update, but there's a new update that just came out today. Um, we're going to be doing the Mix Masters life summit. And this is essentially a part of the new batch of life summits. This is like the third round essentially. Um, in this update they have like these new underglow effects like you can see with the platinum reward there's new vehicles including the bigardi veyron um new vanity items i think there's going to be new events as well and there seems to be a new stream of life summit which is pretty cool um kind of get a taste of what's what's to come including a ghost recon vehicle which is interesting. Look at that underglow. <laughs> that looks amazing. Anyway, today we're going to be doing the Mix Master. Um, in order to do the Mix Master, you will have to have at least a Ford Monster Truck, an Alfa Romeo Street Race Vehicle, any type of demolition derby vehicle, any um, plane, at least a, a road vehicle. You probably have one already. Um, I'm not too sure what exactly this would be. Hang on. Cold state. Oh, okay, so any boat, really. And then a rallycross vehicle from Japan, so like um, the R34. An aerobatics vehicle, like any kind. And then the Alpha Mark II, um, Alpha Grand Prix vehicle. So that's exactly what you need. So we're going to be going into the speed trap first, we'll do the skills first, and then we'll do the events, like the races. First up we're in Plateau. Wow, this is actually, the loading screens are better than Need for Speed Heat. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to switch, at least when you first load into the game. I think this kind of has a similar issue, but alright. Um, we need a drag race vehicle, I think. Exactly that. Um, let's turn this around. This might be kind of difficult. Put the corner and everything. Should be okay. Hang on. Let's get this all ready. Alright, there we go. Let's hope we can kind of turn it. Oh god. Ball riding there. Okay, we can't turn that well. Alright. I noticed that. We can't turn. That's right. Oh, I just hit it anyway. Alright. <laughs> I'll retry. To go the whole way around. It should be easier at this side. Okay. It should be. <laughs> I have to kind of go like around here. Alright, there we go. Four hundred and thirty one kilometers. It should be fine. Oh, okay. 88 grand. We can do better. Can definitely do better. I feel like this side has a lot more going for it. Is that guy even going to be able to turn? What is that vehicle? Man, I can't turn this corner. Holy crap. It's like I'm stuck. Alright. 
This will be the, the final attempt and then we'll move on. Bus, are you kidding me? Fuck, god damn it. This will be the final try. This will definitely be the final try, otherwise. Oh man. Oh, what the hell? Okay, <laughs> I think I think we can't do it. I don't I don't know how was it. I was able to do that there. Yeah. I feel like I could turn, but I couldn't. I just couldn't turn the vehicle at all. It just gripped. All right, this is an escape. Oh, I have to get used to boat controls again. Oh no. Okay, we're going through there, I guess. <laughs> oh man. This is maxed out, so it should be okay. Three thousand meters. Going pretty good speed. We're well, we're at top speed, so. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, this is getting really tight. Four thousand seven hundred and fifty-four. Okay. That's got to be at least a win. Are you kidding? What? What? Let me give one more try. I mean, that's good. But is it good enough? Like, I'm, I seriously don't know how I wasn't able to do that. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a bit, a bit strange. Okay, there we go. Oh, that way. Let's try it out. Oh god. Oh, okay. I have to back on track here. Actually, let's just retry. Won't waste too much time on that attempt. It feels like I can't get through here because of how massive this vehicle is. It's probably like the biggest top, like the longest top in the game. Alright, there we go. Oh, he went that way too. The, um, the AI. Seems like that guy stopped because he hit the road. Oh, clearance got 5,000. Well, I'm definitely beating that. Oh, it stops at some point. Or is that like a visual glitch? Oh, it does stop. Alright. <laughs> 5,600. I could have went off-road, actually, like that, and then just kept going. Well, beat it. 112,000 points there. Beautiful. Alright, low altitude. Arch Park Trail. Hang on. Aerobatic vehicles? No, thank you. Pretty need to use ourselves an air race vehicle. They're way quicker. Uh, let me just check to see if I have 
any parts that I could put on that's better. I currently have. Nope. Unfortunately not. Holy crap. Okay, that's a wacky start. Let's retry. Oh, okay. Okay, that's how it is, I guess. I guess that other way could be easier. I see what the other guy's doing. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna, like, try and do that. Only a man man would do that. Alright. Hit it. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's... Holy crap, what the hell? Man, this one's gonna be the toughest one yet. I know I can go anywhere, but like... I just can't turn, what the hell? Please don't hit me. Oh, he's going a different way. Oh, there's, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way you can go through... Go through there. That's unbelievable. But the speed I'm going... Because this... I'm not meant to be using an air race vehicle, but... Air race vehicles, I think, are just quicker. Like, they're quicker, and I also think you get... More points? Is how fast to go? Hang on a second. Didn't I just... Hang on. Oh, I just hit it. Oh, I thought I didn't hit it there. Sorry, this is taking like fucking forever, but... Hang on. Just do this. Just, just, just do this. Yeah. What? Oh my god, really? They so can't... They restrict you to be in the ground, like, really at the bottom. Alright. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. This is just... Oh, I didn't even hit it. That's... No, not return to summit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of people's nightmares. Okay. Okay, we're in the clear now. This is fine. This is fine. Um, please... Alright. We should be fine here. This is... This is looking okay. Oh, I hate when it... Rudders... Like, in a way that, like, you don't push enough. Like, if you, like, hit it... While you're turning, it kind of, like goes further than you think it would. It's just strange. And that is one of the strangest endings I've ever seen. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> and that wasn't even close to winning. Oh my god. Alright, we'll, we'll do one more try. One more. Alright. It's just a black box just flying in the air. That's pretty insane. Thirty-five thousand? How on earth did you get thirty-five thousand? Okay, this this is a lot cleaner. Oh come on! Of course, that had to had to happen at the end. Ten thousand. I didn't even know if that was better. To be quite honest. Oh, it was better by a little bit. Eighty-two grand.
Okay, well, let's move into the monster truck. Great sand dune with a monster truck. Holy crap, that would be cool. Alright, this is the actual racing. I've got a raptor here. And it should, and it's fully upgraded, so hopefully it'll hold out against these rally raid vehicles. <laughs> it's pretty funny to look at. Whoa! <laughs> I what the hell? Why is it doing flips? No! <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop doing flips! Please! I have to like hold nothing on- like I don't have to hold anything on the, the control stick because otherwise it will do some flip- Spin! <laughs> Jesus! I forgot that's what happens when you use monster trucks. Oh man. They can't really control. <laughs> oh god. Alright, well, um, this is the first tem attempt. <laughs> First serious attempt, right? Oh. I completely forgot that's how you can, that's how you make them do flips in and stuff. So what? You can't. You, oh, you can kind of turn it to the left or right, depending. But then it's like so easy to do flip and spin. Jesus! What the hell? This is almost impossible. If the if the if the monster truck is gonna do that for the whole bloody race, I'm man, that's gonna be tough. How do you stop it from doing it though? That's the thing. Okay, we found a little bit of a. Way, kind of. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, just hit the wall there. Yep. That pole sure does stuff us there. Yep. I think the reason why it's turning so quick too is because I have like uh, the icon points on it. So it, like, there's, there's one where you increase the rotation speed of the vehicle. <laughs> So it's gonna like spin real quick. There is no way. How on earth do you make it not spin? Without like, because you have to control how you travel in the wind, like in the air. Like some, like with the vehicles normally. What the hell? Because, in, like, when you're driving, like, a car, for example, in this game, you can actually kind of control where you're going. Whereas... This, you, you just spin. <laughs> you spin, you... You flip, you do all kinds of weird tricks. Because, you know, this is a monster truck, of course. It's meant to do that. I think they need to disable it. Disable that feature when the time like when they need to do actual racing because this is just because the thing could just spin out of control look at that I'm trying not to <laughs> it's just two rotations here I think I need to be at least third place so. 
in the top three. If we come first, that's fine. But which we are now. My god, this like Oh my god, don't do the spin! <laughs> I think I just lost because... I think I just came second because of that. Yep. <laughs> well, we reached top three. <laughs> Oh, look at that score. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, moving on to something that's going to be actually going to be useful. Alfa Romeo Street Race in a touring car event. So the main theme with this summit is... It's all mixed events, except for the skills, of course, but it's mixed events. I don't want to see another monster truck event like that ever again. No, thank you. I'm driving the Alfa Romeo Gullia. Up against some touring car vehicles. This thing is fully upgraded, so it should be fine. And well, it's doing well at the moment. <laughs> is this the Giants track? Yeah, it is. It actually, is yeah. So the new vehicles that are available in this update is the Bugatti Veyron. Um, it's 2016 one, not the one that was the first release back in 2006, I think. 2005. Um, and then there's the Citroen GT, which looks nuts. Um, and then there's the Ferrari 599XX. Yeah, the 599XX, which is a touring car, I think. And then there's the, um, the Porsche Chiera GT, which is a hypercar, which hasn't been in a, in a racing game in, like, in uh, forever. Last time I've seen it, it was in Forza Motorsport 3, or Forza Motorsport 4, it was one of the two. Really cool vehicle, just never got to be seen ever again since that point, I don't think. At least I don't think it was. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but... Yeah, the Kiera G G GT is definitely a, a really cool vehicle. Um, the bundle is very expensive. Three billion um, bucks in this game. Of course, you just could buy it with real money, but... Who does that? <laughs> and then the Veyron, I think it's like over 2 million. I'm surprised that I'm kind of losing this event. The touring car vehicles are catching up to this vehicle, even though it is fully upgraded and, and the race is on the um I think it's on the normal difficulty whatever the first difficulty is called I've got alright all right, we're back on the track here well, we've been on the track for, for the whole race but yeah we're, we're in first and now we're going to be getting past by a body Lambo unbelievable
think one of the rewards for this summit is actually visual pass for this vehicle. No, no, don't you dare pass me. Yeah, I came first. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. That was really close, apparently. By the looks of it. Alright, A A7. Alright, we've got the Demolition Derby the race for it next round. High Speed Drifter. Oh god. I know this one. Oh no. <laughs> I think I know which one this is. Is this the one? Is, is this the Rallycross race? Yep. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> With a vehicle that can get destroyed. Oh man. How fun is this going to be? This is actually like one of my favorite events for the rally cross. Uh, not yeah, raid, not cross. Jesus, They're completely different things. Um, yeah, that's this. This is it. It's a really good event. I just love it. Not too much going on, but it's definitely. It's kind of like it's mainly just a straightaway. And that's kind of a good thing. Um, unlike other rally cross, uh, rally road events, it's mainly just a lot of corners and little turns, and a lot of like a lot of trees. Whereas this, you don't need to really worry about crashing into anything. Well, you do have the trees here, but there's some open field that you can kind of just go through. This could have been better at the start. Um, oh, I make the jump, I guess. You don't usually do the jump because it slows you down, so. But I just wanted to play it safe there. Then there's a second one up ahead. Which I forgot. Oh, there it is. But you have to go through some trees. And we're there. That was actually pretty solid. That's usually how long it takes with a, a fully upgraded value grade. I think. Yeah, 113. 113,000 points. Beautiful. Um, next we got the Rally Cross with Japanese vehicle. In the Harlem West. Flying through the other races here. I don't want to do them like too many times. Alright, we've got the R34. And now we're ready. Three, two, Wait, the Harlem West. One. This is a street race event. What the hell? Nah, we're smashing it. <laughs> oh, we can actually do that, kind of. Just go off-road. I won't really get punished for it. Oh, God. Things drifting like crazy. A 
is the big jump. Oh, that's a interesting sound. And that was the worst thing that ever happened there. Get out of the way. That's Martin. Halfway through now. I'm actually thinking of recording Need for Speed Heat after this. It's going to be a double... A double race session. Which would be pretty cool. Really liking Need for Speed Heat so far. It's very interesting. Like, like I haven't played Need for Speed in like since Rivals, which is a while ago, 2013, when the um, Xbox One first came out. That was like one of the first games I bought on it. But yeah, definitely wasn't good. <laughs> I didn't like it, but. And then I was like, eh, I don't want to play Need for Speed anymore. I like Forza. And then I was, yeah. Mainly Horizon. I, I stopped playing the motorsport, but yeah. And then the Crew 2 came out. I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. And yeah. <laughs> you get stuff like this to happen. Oh, finally. I could have been better if we didn't crash. At the first lap when we flew over the, the jump. Aerobatics. Holy hell. Navajo trial. Wait a second. This isn't... Oh wait, no it's not. I was thinking of another event. Okay, where are we off to? Already? Oh, okay, I might as well retry. <laughs> you see what I mean now? Where it rudders? Like just so strange when it just kind of like shifts. I missed it. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Okay, retry again. Three, two, <laughs> uh, one. This is what I get for not playing the game for two months. Yeah, it's been since, since September since I've played it. Far oh, yeah, out, look how quick he just appears to left and right for no reason. And I only slightly tap it. It's not like I'm holding it. Now I'm holding it. And I missed again. You actually have to fly all the way down. Anyway. Alright. Looking good so far. It's a very short event there, so... Mainly because we're flying. But. This is a nice cruising ride.
And there we go. Just at the finish line. And the bet chandy money, that's not 100 grand. That's not 100. We're not going to get 100,000 points because we crashed twice. <laughs> oh, look at that. 86,000. Still good, though. Still good. We've got one more event. Central Woods South with the Alpha Mark II. Three. This against. Oh, it's only it's. Why are only versing against street race vehicles, man? Oh, this is just a walk in the park, isn't it? <laughs> How good. <laughs> Smashing the competition here. Yeah? This race will be over in no time. Or is it? Oh. Looks like there's more to it. Oh, massive corner. Oh, here we go. We're fine. Already halfway through the race now. starting to get the corners here. Oh god. Okay, quickly. That needs to be quicker. I always thought it's kind of slow when you go back on track. Losing traction here. That's my parking spot now. That's right. Minus twenty nine. There we go, hundred thousand. All right. Nine hundred and one thousand and one nine hundred one thousand five hundred and thirty seven. Currently one hundred and sixty seventh place. Um I am playing this pretty much yeah, six days left, so there's like there's plenty of time for this to, for my rank to change. However, I am gonna be playing more of this in the next couple of days until the next summit comes around, which is called H two O. Um interesting got some street race parts there um it's got the wild palm leaf smoke some spare parts interesting and we can kind of get to see what this is all about it looks like ma mainly a boat um summit going from the 20th to the 27th so if you want to do this live summit is available now at november 13 from today um, to November 20th, which is 
six days away, you know. So, yet again, we'll talk about the rewards we got in bronze. We got 300,000 followers, same pack. In silver, we got the Alpha Romeo Gulia Club Quadrifoglia Foglio's parts. So those are visual parts. And for gold, we have the Skullbreaker Legendary for the power boat. And then we have for platinum the light speed underglow. So that is basically what you got there. And in order to do some of the races, you need a monster truck. That's the forward. From the manufacturer forward, you need a Alfa Romeo from the street race. You need at least one demolition derby vehicle. You need a Japanese rallycross vehicle. You need at least one aerobatics vehicle, which you get from the start of the game anyway, so you probably use that one. And then you need the Alpha Mark II from the Alpha Grand Prix. Oh, and you need, you need a boat to do the escape. And at least like a street race vehicle for the speed trap and then any plane for the low altitude. So anyway, that's going to be it for me, for the crew too. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next week with H2O, which is the next summit. See you guys.